Hi Cancers, and welcome to your May 2020 general tarot forecast. This is Sky here to talk to you about the energies coming in for your sign this month in May. I hope that you're doing really well, Cancers. I am sure that you're thriving in so many different ways this month. You know, your sign does so well with uh, being a homebody and, um, you know, having isolation. It's not been easy for anybody by any means, but um, if there's someone who can do it, it's you. I hope that you're really enjoying yourself right now. Um, thank you so much for being here, Cancer. Um, I think that May is really going to get better. Um, I think that you're going to have a lot better of a time than you, did in, than you did in April. The energy of Taurus is much more harmonious to you than the energy of Aries. Um, as you might kind of see that like April, uh, every April, maybe like every year, every April, you might kind of feel like you have a lot of pressure or like things just are not really going in your favor or like it's just like really a struggle to, you know, come to terms with others and there's something like like very demanding for you in the month of April. So then May kind of comes in and it gets a lot more flexible and it gets a lot more supportive and it gets a lot more um, heart oriented. If you saw the May video, um, you would have seen that there's a lot of heart healing that we're doing here. And I think that that's gonna be so important for you guys this month, all right? I think that your heart might be a little bit broken even. You've got 10 of swords and eight of cups. They're both reversed coming up in the month of May. And um, I think that you have a lot of uh, soul searching to do with those energies coming in because I think that you might be feeling a little bit betrayed. You might be feeling a little bit um, like you're not sure what direction to go with things either. So there's kind of a confusion I feel for your energy because on the other hand, you're a lot more free and you're a lot more um, balanced too. But um, there's, it's, and I said this in Taurus reading as well, it's like maybe the right hand doesn't know what the left hand is doing, or there's some kind of, um, I don't know, disorientation with how you want to move forward. So May's basically going to show you how to move forward, and it's basically going to show you how to, um, I don't know, prepare for the next chapter of your life. And I think that that will be really nice. You guys also have Five of Swords coming up, though, too. So you're not really feeling treated fairly. You're not really feeling like um, other people have the best interests or the best intentions toward you. And um, I think also that creativity is going to be the answer to that. I think that some of you have like a creative project or something that you've been wanting to really hone in on that has been like delayed for a long time. And maybe it's like uh, crazy how much thinking a lot about these other people or thinking a lot about these like exterior circumstances, like how much that really like keeps you from doing what you're meant to do and um, how much longer it could go on or how long those things can go on. Like has this been going on for years where there's like a, a, just a need to get away from everything or a need to be around other people or a need to like connect and connect and connect while there's this like thing that you've really wanted to do for a long time that just doesn't go anywhere and now you can make that go somewhere I'm really happy so yeah for the cancers who have like a creative project who've been wanting to put something together now's a great time okay I think that um, as a Cancer, and um, I can kind of see this myself too, as I have a, a very active fourth house in my own chart, I think that there is a lot of indecisiveness, and it's almost like the feeling of like no decision is the right one, or no way forward is accomplishing or connecting to all of um, the needs within. And I think that that is your like life mission in May, um, what I'm seeing from this spread, is finally meeting the needs, okay? And trusting that you have that capability, um, developing that true sense of inner trust and um, not expecting it from other people, but finding it within to some degree. Um, you have really a great opportunity to come past this old feeling of indecision. You have two of pentacles reversed um, and you have temperance upright. So it's like where you feel indecisive or where you feel like you just cannot understand how to move forward. Um, you also have more health, okay? I don't know how to move forward. Wow, things are really coming back into order in this way or that way. Or I have more money now or I have more um, time now to like really just exhale, okay? To really rebalance, to really see things from a new perspective. There is a new vantage point for cancer most definitely in the month of May, and I think that that's beautiful. 
And a lot of that new vantage point cancer is going to come from that combination of the Ace of Wands energy, Eight of Pentacles, and Three of Pentacles as well. So through hard work and through really um, focusing so deeply on, on this this thing that you've, you've wanted to do for a long time, you're going to really discover a new vantage point. And maybe you can really even see things from other people's point of view and, and finally understand um, how somebody else felt. And I think that that's also really telling for you this month. Because there's an interesting, um, I don't know, new perception that we get, like everyone, like we're all kind of developing this in May, of like what the self, so myself, what that is in comparison to the other and what that is in comparison to the people around us and how those things correlate and relate. I feel that the um, biggest theme for you this month, Cancer, is just coping and recovering and, um, I don't know, experiencing rebirth to some degree of the result that came from the self and the other being quite discombobulated, okay? Um, so uh, not really being able to appreciate or get along with anybody in your life, okay? Um, not really having any one person where there's a satisfactory relationship or not having like one single individual person outside of yourself that really um, fulfills your wants or helps you or works with you or um, gives to you what you've been seeking. That's an interesting thing to think about. Um, I think that people with strong cancer placements or people who are cancer um, are really, really jonesing to have a representation of the loyalty or the ability that they have to provide for somebody else or what they're willing to give or the the depth of a cancer's capability for another is like bottomless okay and um i don't feel that you you feel that you're getting that back what may of 2020 is really seeking for you is um sort of the exemplification of equal exchange which i'm thinking that you feel has been thoroughly lacking for some time now um, so yeah, equal exchange really coming in strong and and available for you this month. Um, I think that a Cancer really receives so clearly what they've put out this month, and I think that that's so rewarding, okay? Because most of you have really put out something very wholesome, and I think that for those of you who've been putting out something very wholesome and have really uh, cared with grace towards the people around you and, who, and the Cancers who've really been able to work with um, not only their own context, but the context of others and really be appropriate within that and care about that and like be selflessly selfish, you know what I mean? Really that consolidation of the self in that in like a really healthy and caring, graceful way. Um, those cancers are getting so many rewards in May and it's just kind of kind of be like easy floating, easy, easy experiences until your time of the year as we get to cancer season, which is not too far away. Um, and then for those cancers who have like not really um, been able to see things from other people's perspectives or have not really um, used timing well, um, I think that it's pretty empty and I think that it's pretty like um, uh, grungy as well. So um, if you're there, okay, so if you're a cancer who's feeling kind of like oh my gosh, there's, there's nothing that I can connect to. There's like nothing here. Everybody in my life is um, distant to me or nobody, I don't really feel like that anybody's fitting in with me. That can really change so quick. And, and that's what's in the cards for everybody this month, Cancer. It's like if you saw the May video again, like with one pulse beat or with one like changing moment, the tide can really change and you can really feel elevated or you can really feel capable. And what you start to see within that cancer is that um, it's just up to you, you know, like um, how you feel in reaction to your external environment. All of that is just um, up to you to work with. And if it's not satisfactory, make a change. And um, if that's not satisfactory, maybe nothing ever will be or can be. Okay. And that's where as a cancer, we have to kind of realize like, wow, I've been coping with everything in my life by not being satisfied or not being happy with anything. Okay. And that's a coping mechanism. It's a very prevalent coping mechanism for cancer, especially um, where you 
keep control of the situation by by pre-detailing your reaction to it. And that's not going to be all of you. Okay, I'm not coming for cancer. Um, I have a lot of cancer energy myself, and I kind of see this. I kind of see how this is working. I also know cancers very, very well. Like, like very well. Um, so what I see within cancer is one, like so much giving and so much want and so much capability to provide for others and really sustain other people and not feeling like that's being returned. But then I also see like um, a big struggle for satisfaction as well. So it's kind of a very volatile combination of events there that I feel in Cancer's energy that um, is not hurting anybody but Cancer. And that's kind of the tough thing is it's like, um, who does it hurt? It might hurt some of the people around you, but it's really going to hurt Cancer, okay? Sometimes we just have to allow ourselves to accept what's around us and to also understand like the context of others if we are trying to make space for those people in our lives and not accept the context of people that we're not um because as, as a cancer it can like really go strong either way like sometimes cancers like make way too much space for other people and way too much like care and um and like decorum shown to people who are not appreciating that and it's like the more that the cancer gives, the less that the other person cares. And, and that's because there's like um, not much substance. Once so much is given and so much is, even if it's like the world, even if you're giving somebody the world, it doesn't feel like it has substance to somebody else if it's everything that you have, because it's like within everything is nothing, okay? Physics, it's every, every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. It's quantum physics. Within everything is nothing. Okay, so when a cancer is giving everything, there's not really anything there, and it makes and it it it's uh, it, it's I know it's like mind boggling for some of us, but um don't give somebody everything that you have, um because it will surmount to like void and nothing. You have to kind of like um I don't know it's like a little bit. You give a little bit, you get a little bit back. You know, you give everything, you get everything back. Okay, do we kind of understand how this is working? Like, there's a really nice quantum, like, lovely understanding formulas of life thing coming in for cancer. I kind of want to insert that meme of that, like, lady who, like, sees all the formulas and stuff. She's, like, blonde. I don't know. That's kind of <laughs> what, what we're going through here, cancer. Um, you know, it's, it's like, uh, really good to start to give less, okay? Maybe. Um... And to get happy, you know, this isn't a time for like, you know, never ending sadness or, or, you know, contention or, you know, I think that uh, cancer owes themselves happiness here. And I think that you guys need to be happy. Okay. You need to find happiness. That's like your mission in Maine. What a nice kind of mission to have. That's one thing that I'm loving about general readings now. I'm kind of like seeing like what each sign's mission is each month. Um, cancer's mission is quite simple. It's like happiness. Okay. And uh, giving that to yourself and and um, getting it from other people too. Like even maybe the unexpected people can really give a lot of happiness right now. And, you know, I think that there are people who want to give it to you, Cancer. I think that there are people who are very sorry and people who are very um, wishful that they could, um, I don't know, see you happy. All right. So that's really there for you guys. Um, oh, that's, that's like really there's something like really touching about it. Anyway, Cancer, let's talk about the week to week for you guys. Um, we'll be putting together an extended reading on Patreon. I'll be really excited to give that to you guys. You can sign up below in the description box. There will be a link. Um, but yeah, let's do the week to week. So week number one, Cancers, you have Ace of Wands rooted down by Five of Swords. So um, creative inspiration coming off of a feeling of betrayal or feeling like taken advantage of. Try to transmute it into creativity. Try to rise above it. Try to not really um, get stuck there, you know? No need for any, any of us to feel like stuck in like betrayal or stuck in like an ending process right now. It's those things should have been tied up in like March, okay? It's too late for that. Um, all that can really come from betrayal or difficulty is like um, happiness, okay? Um, or, you know, creativity, right? So try to get really creative. I think that you're going to have some new motivation and also some, like, like again, reintroducing yourself to who you are and what you want. I think that's beautiful for the first week. Week number two, you have eight of pentacles rooted down by two of pentacles reversed. So um, hard work, um, maybe going back to work for some of you, um, maybe not quite knowing how you feel about that, because I think this time off has really led us to uh, think a lot about what we want to do with our lives, so it will be really good to pay attention to the type of work that you're doing in the second week. So for those of you who are working, um, 
I think that you've got to really think about it. And I think that you've got to really um, start to enjoy it as well. And if you don't enjoy it, or if it's something that's really like burning you out, I think it's really easy to prepare yourself to make a change soon within that. Because there is maybe an indecisiveness about what you're doing um, every day, like what the majority of your energy is going to. You know, Cancer, if you think about like, what is my energy going to every single day? What am I meticulously putting energy into? It's something for everybody. You know, for some people, it's a job. For some people, it's a relationship. For some people, it's, um, you know, uh, um, just looking around <laughs> during the quarantine, I don't know, eating ice cream. Um, <laughs> what what What's the meticulous energy going into? Um, <laughs> I think that you um, aren't sure of it, Cancer, and I think that you need to get um, maybe some of those things out, you know, like old habits or old, old things that you've been doing for a long time over and over and over again. Eight of pentacles is all about repetition and, and working repetition. And then two of pentacles reversed is about like not really being satisfied with the um, current like things in front of you. So like if you can imagine that mental picture, it's like um, eating the ice cream, but not really enjoying the taste of the ice cream, but eating it anyway. Um, or, you know, um, it's like smoking and not liking the smokes, but smoking anyway. And then there's like a big money connotation there. There's a big like time lost. Like there's a lot of that for cancer right now. And the second week of May might just be the time to get a hold of that. And then the third week of May comes Eight of Cups reversed, rooted down by Ten of Swords reversed. Okay, Cancer, wow. So um, things will kind of have a bit of a different light. You might, like, all your problems might be resolved by then. You know, all of your, um, I don't know, things like complaints, okay? All of your complaints might really be, um, I don't know, assuaged to, I think that you really get what you want there. And I think that you really um, have a lot of healing to do there as well. So seeing that you have what it takes to feel fine and to feel peaceful, these old stories, these old pains, these old, I don't know, just like not feeling okay about things, cancer, we've got to move on with our lives, we've got to get happy and start to enjoy ourselves again, you know, enjoying your skincare routine, enjoying your uh, morning coffee, enjoying like these small things that can bring you happiness. Don't pre-detail dissatisfaction there, okay? It's time for cancer to be happy. I think that you guys might be moved. Some of you are moving during the third week, okay? Some of you are um, perhaps experiencing a breakup, okay? Some of you are perhaps um, experiencing uh, the feeling of betrayal as well. And if 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 you feel like you're experiencing something that's really upending cancer, um, please know that people love you, okay? Please know that. Um, there is a lot of love for a cancer during a year like this. You guys are comforting like no other. You guys have like incredible voices. You have in just like the ability to nurture other people. And that's always needed. I think that some of you aren't really assured of your own ability to give, okay? and your ability to receive. Giving and receiving. Giving and receiving. That's a big theme for Cancer right now. That, to me, feels very confused within itself. So who are we giving to? Who are we taking from? And um, are we ready to give ourselves what we need? Okay, are we ready to feel happy within ourselves? I hope that you do, Cancer. I really hope that you feel happy um, because you deserve it and you need it and you need to give it to yourself and you need to really um, brush things off of your shoulders. Like if people are if you feel like people aren't being kind to you or if you feel like people are not um, holding you in a nice space, I think that you've really got to um, develop a new way to just overcome that and come past it. So I'm not too worried about the third week for you guys. I think some of you might even like narrowly avoid a betrayal or narrowly avoid a confrontation or narrowly avoid, I don't know, um, a breakup or something. Maybe that's possible. It could really go any way. Um, but I think why take Ten of Swords or Eight of Cups head on, you know? Why not just kind of let those things go and release them and bypass them? I mean, they're reversed. Why not? Week number four, you guys have Temperance rooted down by Three of Cups. I'm sorry, that's Three of Pentacles, but, you know, either or. Um, so yeah, coming back into balance, you're re-meeting yourself, reintroducing um, yourself to yourself, Cancer. I love that. Um, healing your body, more hydration. So I think you're getting better food during the fourth week, um, maybe even more water. So maybe things are opening back up. I will hope so. That's what that feels like to me. Like if, if there's any energy that I would say, it's like um, being able to have more public access during the fourth week. Who knows what'll happen, but it's possible. Um, also rising above old things. So um, coming to terms with people or having amends or having um, a feeling of kindness around you. That's going to be really prevalent there. 
and also a sense of teamwork. So for those of you cancers who are um, moving forward and having a lot of new options or a lot of new freedom, maybe there needs to be more teamwork and more like direct dialogue about how you can make things better or how you can um, really give that feeling of temperance. So it's time to really temper ourselves as cancers, to really be that anchor, to really be that um, middle ground and to not be too like convinced either way about things. I think that a bit I'm not going to say a bit of indifference, but like a bit of ambiguity or a bit of, um, I don't know, middle ground is not bad for you guys right now. I think that extremes are um, the enemy here in a month like this, especially as we move into Gemini time. No, Nobody is going to really gain from being super, super extreme or super, super, you know... Um, sharp okay that's it's a good way to be alone basically so anyway yeah getting um temperant in your actions okay um good diet good sleeping habits nice clean cozy self cozy house all that stuff cancer getting your house in order getting your family in order um you know who's your family cancer it might be really important to to like even just think about like you know maybe my family maybe I have more of an inherited family than I think, you know, maybe that relationship or that friend is like really a family member and maybe that's not really being nurtured. Um, and, and yeah, great to really get out of like old rigid family dynamics for some of you there and to just really feel a lot lighter and a lot more, um, I don't know, able to fly, you know, temperance, it's like a flying energy, so it can't be too heavy. It can't be too weighed down by things. Great to maybe get together with a project, have teammates, you know, um, Three of Pentacles is about group effort, cooperation, and um, teamwork. So watch out. I, I, what I've seen for a lot of the signs, and I'm thinking at the end of May, maybe things are going to get a lot better. That's what the tarot energy is saying to me um, when it comes to like all the distancing and everything. But I will say that a lot of people are really getting in big crowds during the fourth week of May too. It seems to, it appears to me. So we got to watch out for that. We're going to have another surge if we're uh, getting too public. So try to keep responsible with it all, Cancer. You know, I, I feel like a lot of you want to be around other people or sharing space with other people during the fourth week. Watch out for it. It'll be good to do like what you need to do, but we're going to have to kind of like take it slowly. So take things slowly, one step at a time, Cancer. Just keep moving. Um, and, um, people love you. Okay, people love you more than you think. Um, I hope that you're not feeling held back by any more, like, contention or, like, rivalry or pain or anything like that. Like, try to just get kind, okay? People want to be kind to you. Let's let's be kind. Um, anyway, Cancers, I'm wishing you so much love and light. Again, this is a general reading. It may not resonate for everybody, and um, I'm doing my best here. I think we're right at 22 minutes. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up. Um, be sure to check out your Sun, Moon, Rising sign, and we will be putting together an extended reading over on Patreon. So if you'd like to get that, you can click the center of your screen now or check the description box below. Okay, also your likes, comments, and subscribes here on YouTube make my day. Thank you so much for them. Let me know how you're doing below in the form of a comment, and we'll be talking later cancers let's jump over to patreon for the extended now much love bye